Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to focus on three simple outfit formulas which will always have you feeling effortless and chic. Uh, for me, this has definitely become a huge part of my routine when it comes to getting ready in the morning, especially as I am quite time poor. So knowing what outfit formulas are just going to work straight off the bat that I don't even have to really put much thought into it is something that saves me a lot of hassle and a lot of time. Today's video does include a paid for integration with Essence who I'm really thrilled to be partnering with them because I have been shopping from their site for years and years. Uh, I do have three items that I've purchased which I'm going to share with you and I'm going to be styling as part of these outfit formulas throughout the video along with other items from my wardrobe. If you aren't already familiar with Essence, I consider them to be a luxury retailer. They're based out of Canada and they have a really amazing selection of brands. They've got Acne, they've got House of Dagmar, Philip K, Ganny, uh, The Row, Totem. Um, then they also have some of my favorite Korean brands like Low Class, Classic and nothing written. There's a lot of variety there and I have to say I think the buyers are doing an amazing job because every time I go on this site I always find something I want to add to cart and I know that this is really a bit of a given but one of my favorite ways to actually browse their site aside from going to all of my favorite designers is to check out what's in their new arrivals because for me this is a great way to discover new brands and also get exposed to some silhouettes and styles that maybe I might not have considered for my wardrobe. The three style formulas that I'm going to be sharing with you are actually centered around three items that I've purchased from the Essence website. So the first one being these beautiful trousers from House of Dagmar. These are the Valentina crop trousers and they have the most beautiful cotton boucle fabric. It's really texturally interesting and I love the wide leg and the fact that they are a bit cropped. For me that's a fun way to play with proportions and adding balance into my outfits but also keeping things interesting by having that texture that visual component which is alluring and that is really striking as well and great if you're wearing a monochromatic outfit. I have these in the size 36 which is the equivalent of an AU8 or a US4. So that is the first item that I will be sharing. The second piece is a basic tank and I have to say this is actually one of my favorite items in my closet. It is a simple little ribbed tank from Philippa K. This is a cotton stretch and it is so comfortable. I actually took this with me on my recent trip to Dallas and it was a great little layering basic to have something I could wear on its own but also good to layer underneath items as well um, and the fit of this I got it in a small and it is sort of quite close cut to the body which I really like and I love the square neckline uh, it does come in white as well and I've been very tempted to sort of add that one to my wardrobe knowing what a good staple this one has been um, and then the third item that I purchased from Essence which I'm planning to center these outfits around are these sandals from Jill Sander I've been wanting to purchase a pair of these for a while and actually I found the price on the Essence website I think it was better than anywhere else online so I immediately added them to cart. I really love the burgundy color I think online it's described as a brown but in person they're definitely more of a kind of aubergine burgundy hue which I think works really nicely with the very neutral palette of my closet. These are tremendously comfortable again these are something that I took with me on my recent trip to Dallas and they they didn't pinch at all. I walked I think 13,000 steps in these and they were fantastic. So no blisters, very comfortable and they fit true to size. I've got a European 40 in this particular style. Essence actually have a promotion running right now for 15% off. I am going to leave all the terms and conditions and details down in the description box but the code is FW2022. So I always like to use discount codes like this as a great opportunity to really stretch my budget a little bit further when it comes to shopping for the season ahead and that's actually exactly what I did. I decided to use the code to purchase a top from Toe, which is currently winging its way from me. I'm very excited about it because I feel like finding a really nice sort of sleeveless top or something that has a cap sleeve can be a bit challenging and I tend to live in styles like that in the summer and I want something that is visually interesting, that is appealing to me uh, in some sort of way, whether it be down to the cut, the way that the fabric feels, uh, those sort of little nuanced details are very important and I liked this because it is 100% cotton, has this beautiful pleated effect with the ties in the front and I thought it would be a really nice update to my kind of capsule wardrobe for spring and summer. So that was great because I managed to snag it with 15% off which 
I'm not mad about at all. So I will leave a link to that top that I purchased down in the description box below. But if you do decide to purchase anything from Essence, I want to know what you bought. So please tell me in the comment section as maybe you might end up inspiring my next shopping session on their site. Uh, now I kind of want to dive into the outfit. So I'm going to put on a few different looks. I'm going to do a bit of a voiceover and share with you the different styling tools that I've used and why I think that these different outfit formulas work and will make you feel chic and effortless. The first style uniform is centered around a nice top and those tailored trousers. I especially like that these trousers have that cropped off length because it really allows you to add in that slim element to your look. Though in this case, I've worn an off-shoulder top and for a little bit of extra detail and to really cinch in my waist, I've also worn a belt too. But yeah, I like the balance here because I'm able to expose my ankles and to really elongate my legs and just make me look visually taller, I've added a pointed toe flat. Another monochromatic look and truly the easiest and fastest way to achieve that effortless chic vibe. Here I've opted for this loose billowy blouse and again, I can really cinch in my waist with that belt or I can wear the blouse loose, which is what I've really chosen to do here and left a few of those bottom buttons undone so that you get a little bit of sliver of midriff which is kind of sexy in a really subtle way and finish off with those sandals again here I am wearing those larger silhouettes both with the top and the trousers but the slimline sandals are kind of what help to add balance to this look final outfit I'm drawing on my love of polka dots here with this pleated plissé blouse and because I wanted to keep the look feeling very uniform I've opted to draw on the colors of both my top and my trousers and my shoes so that kind of creamy muted beige color is replicated in the color of my shoes and then of course finish off with that black toe cap detail the second style uniform is centered around a singlet pair of jeans and a blazer the first outfit that I'm featuring here has more of a streamlined fitted blazer, which doesn't quite have that same modern feel as an oversized one, but it is undeniably classic. Here I've opted to really lean into those classic vibes and worn that two-tone pump again for that very Parisian chic effect. For the second outfit, I've chosen to do a column of color down the center, which is visually elongating and lengthening. So I've worn a faded black jean and then those pointed toe pumps, which actually do have that extra effect of being elongating because of the pointed toe, continues to draw the eye down further. And then I finish that off with a taupey colored oversized blazer. This is a really great style hack to utilize when you are wearing outerwear because it does have that really slimming but also flattering effect. For the third option, I went for for a slightly offbeat take. These trousers have more of a balloon barrel leg which cinch in at the ankle and they do also have a slightly lower rise which you might be able to see from the cutaways here. I have gone with the three color rule so I'm wearing black, white and gray. The gray being replicated in both the sandals and the blazer that I'm wearing here. This is something that helps to create a really harmonious outfit and it doesn't feel visually cluttered. The final style uniform, which I think is effortlessly chic, is a singlet with a pair of fluid trousers and then a nice strappy sandal. Something that has a belly there look on the foot. The first outfit I've opted for, that monochromatic vibe, so black head to toe essentially, though the sandals are burgundy they do almost pull or draw in on that darker element. And I really love the way that the pointed toe of these sandals just kind of peeks out of the front of the trousers. If you wanted to, you could also kind of match your accessories as well. That's a really handy styling technique for when you don't know which accessories to wear. For the second outfit, I'm again utilizing the three color rule. The tank that I'm wearing, it has flecks of both gray and blue in it, which I love. It's very subtle. The trousers, of course, are gray and these ones are quite long through the leg actually. And I like the way that they puddle around the ankles. I think that it is just a little bit of fun and it does make your legs look like they are miles long and then again you have the pointed toe of the sandals just peeking out there which again helps to draw the eye down further and make your legs look 
really, really long. This final outfit's a little bit of a cheat, but I did want to share another way that you could wear those Jill Sander sandals. So I've paired them here with a maxi length ribbed dress, which I really love. This dress can actually be worn two ways, both with the v-neck in the front or in the back, and I am living for the versatility. You know how I feel about being able to maximize the items that you add into your closet. And then the uh, strappy detail of the sandals is a little bit of a visual Easter egg and something kind of fun and interesting to look at at the feet. So there you have it. Those are the outfits. I want to know which was your favorite. Please tell me as always, this is one of my favorite things to read through in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your time with me and a huge thank you to Essence for partnering with me on part of this video. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. See you very soon. Bye.